Hey guys, I'm back. Stupid, dumb game capture issues. Of course, game capture issues would happen not only with my finale videos of The Simpsons Hit and Run, but now the frickin' first board playthrough of this game. Stupid, dumb game capture issues. The next star is over here, folks. If you get there, you can buy 20 coins capital. Yay. Want a gondola ride? Yeah, right. yeah, don't say no thanks. Well, the only instance where you'd want to say that is if you're going for the star. Otherwise, go for it. Jump for Navy, of course. Here we go, we. I'll be right back. <clears throat> hey guys, I'm back. I had another conversation, and on top of that, my cat got in my lap on my couch, and I had to pet him. Here we go, ring. <laughs> We're here. Wow, I'm making time. I never get to take this baby out anymore. Pokey Pummel! <laughs> this mini game was also brought back in Mario part of the top 100. Send the Pokies flying by whacking them with your hammer. The first player to smash all of them wins. A to swing hammer. Each hit each Pokey five times to send it flying. Press the button as fast as you can. <clears throat> Tumbleweed. Oh crap, he lost his star, ha ha. Oh, that means he got a black star then. We'll figure out, we'll, the game will show what that is eventually. Okay, map. Star space. It's all the way over there. One, two, three, four, five. Or was it seven, eight, nine? I could potentially get it this turn if I get a ten. Is there any character space? Okay. Yep. Can I put this on the Kubikit space? Okay, good. Get rid of that thing. <sighs> Seriously. Um. I could get Donkey Kong, I might do that then. I'd like to go for the free orb, but I'm gonna go for Donkey Kong. I would go for towards the star, but if I go that direction, I'll get put to the bridge and that'll launch me back to start. What sucks about the placement of that star is the only way you can get that star is by taking this path down into the side. And reverse, there's no, nothing, no sort of equivalent to the reverse mushroom of Mario Party 3 in this game, so that's the only way to get that outside of a special orb. And I don't mean like a character specific orb, I mean a special orb. It's one of the board specific orbs, but it can also appear on one other board besides this one. <laughs> Yeah, 
Hey, donkey! Donkey, got time to shine! Which mini game will you play now, my good egg? I wanted a single player. Everyone plays, and what's more detail will convert all the bananas you collect into coins. Now let's spin the banana slot and learn the exchange rate, shall we? One, two, or three coins per banana. Okay, <laughs> two coins for each banana you earn. Let's see what the minigame wheel once he has in store for you. Let me see. <laughs> Hop on the barrel and roll over the bananas to collect them. If you fall the stump, your game will end. Stay up there. Control stick only. Go! Yeah, I got it. Finish! Frickin' Mario. At least as far as I can tell, Mario's been the least competition, so... That dude gets a fine book, you can go and count on him when you're in need. Catchy tunes. Run around and collect the following musical symbols. You must collect one of each kind to win. Move and jump. Watch the shadows to predict where the symbols will fall. You can also jump on other players to stun them. Love this soundtrack, by the way. Not the one I thought it was, but it's so good. What's also nice is the musical symbols are also color-coded. Okay, so I need the uh, purple one. Finish. I win. Oh, yeah. I won. And that minigame has no time limit, but it goes on until someone collects all the music notes. <clears throat> <sighs> Bowser time. <laughs> Bowser time. This time we're gonna destroy the stupid bridges. Timber. This is one of Bowser's board specific events. I think it's three turns for the bridges to be repaired. Also, you gotta love that Bowser Time music. It's so freaking good. It is so freaking good. Oh, that felt great. Now it's time to build much better bridges. Check this out. Bowser Spaces. Oh, toy chumps. I want to say Bowser's guaranteed to do that every playthrough on this board. Now, here's where I want it to be single player. But single player affects just Totem, but multiplayer affects everyone, just like the Donkey Kong minigame. And it's multiplayer, so what are you going to take from us? Half our coins, all our coins, or a star? Because those are the three things Bowser can take from you. All of your coins. Musical course. Um, can't remember what mag Magical Journey is. Reach your goal by running through a series of diabolical Koopa traps. Move and jump. The traps are both clever and diabolical. Be on your toes. <clears throat> Go! Until it starts getting more deadly, I'm gonna stomp on all your heads.
Well, Mario got squished by his launch. He's out. Okay, I remember what Mag Magical Journey is now. Out of the three games available, this one is the best one. Easiest one to win to make sure you don't get screwed out of anything by Bowser. Yeah, I'm taking this path. I'm not going to go where both of you guys are. If they win or lose, I don't care. I just don't want to lose. Okay, now here we go. Those. Okay, Boo lost. Okay, so... Okay, now they shoot fire things. Finish! Yay! Oh, yeah. Thunderwall is the worst of these three minigames. It's so easy to not win it. <laughs> ah, boo! Boo got screwed out of the star on the last turn, now he got screwed out of his coins on this turn. <laughs> Thank you, Toad. If, more, if there are more stars in play than just me having a star, then uh, Bowser probably would have gone for losing a star. But since I'm the only one with a star, that's probably why he decided for the game randomized. The RNG for that was all coins. <laughs> no, I want to say you can still get the you'll lose your star, even if not everyone has a star. I don't know. Let's see. I didn't think that bridge got affected, it's just the outer bridges. Yeah, I'd like to use it on further back here. Well, I couldn't, they won't let me throw in that direction anyway. But yeah, get rid of that Koopa Kid space. One versus three. Now Mario Party 3, if I was in this position, it'd be a more assured thing, unless chance I had happened that I would win, but in this game it's never over till it's over. Because you can lose a star in the thing Toad did on this board, you can lose a star in a minigame, you can lose like in a dual minigame, you can lose a star to Bowser. So even though I got a very nice comfortable lead, I, I'm not get definitely in no way guaranteed a win here. One player drives a big tank while three other well, the other three team up in small things. Last team standing is the winner. Move, fire, move, fire. The players in small tanks must work together or the big tank will crush them. Funny thing is, I'm paired up with the two that lost the Bowser game. Boo! <sighs> Stupid Toad! <clears throat> Let's see... Take that, you don't deserve those coins you just won. We should have been able to win. I mean, you do deserve it, I'm just saying I don't like that you won, so take that. Ten loss of ten coins you just lost, or just won to end the minigame. You know I'll win. <laughs> uh, maybe that'll put the start. Boy, am I glad I placed that frickin' orb, otherwise he'd be getting two stars in one turn. Actually, no, he wouldn't, but still. Now, unless it's a coin minigame, he can't frickin' get the star in the next turn anyway. <clears throat> ah, 
out of 10. That's still not enough to get the star, though. At least I got past the Bowser Bridge. World Peace. <laughs> Combine two shapes to make the shape in the center of the board. The first team to the three points is the winner. Pick up and drop. Each shape is composed of two halves. If you pick up the wrong shape, you'll lose valuable time. Go! I'll be back, guys. Hello? Hi. I'm feeling good. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Bye. Be with everyone she handles. And on top of that, uh, Having been sick herself, she forgot, I don't know. <clears throat> hey guys, I'm back. Phone call. Okay, so this one. <sighs> really? Okay, it must be this one this time. This one. <laughs> Triangle, that one's easy. Good. Come on. Give me the heart or the friggin' circle. Those are easy. Arrow, okay. Let's see, get the pink piece, boo. Yay, we win. Barely. <sighs> oh yeah, I won. I was wanting to split this into three parts or two parts, but because of the stupid dumb game capture issues, I'm probably gonna have to have this be at least three parts, three videos for this episode. Or I need at least a five to get the star. <sighs> Oh, wait. Much like the Bowser spaces in Mario Party 3, if you have no stars and no coins, Bowser will give you a reward. Ten coins. I'm glad that happened. Avoided any sort of multiplayer game, plus it's only ten coins and not twenty or thirty. I want to say he can give higher amounts. I don't know offhand for sure. Dumb free. At least it's a Donkey Kong space. Since I got such a comfortable lead, it's probably gonna be multiplayer. If it's a single player, I'll be surprised. Yeah. You're more likely to get a single player if you're in third or fourth place. Now on the flip side, I wanna say for Bowser games, you're more likely to get a single player if you're doing better in first or second than a multiplayer. You get two coins for each banana you earn. Banana's faster. <laughs> Hop on the roulette wheel to collect bananas. You can jump as many times as you want before time runs out. Get the banana bunches of the bananas and watch out for the peels. If you hit one of those, you'll slip and fall. <clears throat> Go! 
you can get screwed and get nothing in this one easily. Thankfully, I got that bunch, so I got something out of the guarantee. Finish! Yeah, I got another one in. <laughs> I'll take 12 coins over 10 or nothing. Or, I'm sorry, 12 coins over 2 or nothing. <laughs> I'm just waiting for a battle game to be thrown at us now, especially with me having so many coins. Two versus two. Buzz Stormer. <laughs> Move left and right to avoid the dandelions. Move the control stick in the same direction as your partner to make the B tilt more. This is the thing that was assigned 